Welcome. Today we have a phenomenal guest. His name is Bill Crane. And Bill, before we get started, what is one thing that most people don't know about you? Well, I think most people don't know anything about me because I'm not <laughs> famous. <laughs> but you know, the, people that, the, the people that do know me, uh, usually there's two different sides of me because uh, like I'm known as the real estate insider mm -hmm. in the real estate world. And I'm also known as the two comma coach in the sort of online digital marketing space because I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible to uh, get over seven figures that actually started in, in the real estate world. And I started the mission about 15 years ago to create a thousand millionaires. Mm -hmm. And initially that was uh, about creating this massive network of, of real estate people that were all millionaires. And then together we could come together. Now we have a billion dollar net worth and we could leverage that into um, all kinds of buildings, apartment complexes, maybe by a sports team, you know, you know, someday. Uh, so like, that's probably the number one thing that people don't know about me is I'm actually on a personal mission to create a thousand new millionaires because like in those people be, are like my inner circle, you know, like my most trusted friends. A lot of them are people I've helped become millionaires. So there's like this special bond. Uh, and when I got into the digital marketing space in that two comma club award that ClickFunnels gives out, it just totally resonated with me. And then I was shocked you know, then when I typed in that domain name to see if it was available and two comma coach.com was born because it actually was available. So, so yeah, that'd be the number one thing that people don't know me is my mission is to uh, create a thousand new millionaires. Because wow. if those people are in alignment with the way I think and the way you think, because I know your mission as an expat is to go out and um, help people make their lives better. Mm -hmm. and, and the more people to think like you and I do, it's definitely going to make a huge impact on the world. Yeah, yeah. So 1,000. Why Why 1,000? Uh, really, the only reason was because, first of all, it was a, a, a real number uh, in, in terms of it's, it's accomplishable, right? Mm -hmm. Like a 1,000 mm -hmm. like isn't a million, right? Like to create a million new millionaires is like, that's like a ridiculous number. You know, someone else can try that. <laughs> <laughs> But, but also a thousand millionaires is a billion dollars. And I also thought that, okay, that's actually doable. Uh, and then we can have this huge network because like, will I ever personally become a billionaire? I mean, like that is like something I'm not even thinking about, you know, mm -hmm. like, like I've already, I reached the seven figures and, and the great net worth and all that years ago in my life. But there's, it's, it's about a, as hard to become a billionaire from being a millionaire as it is to become a millionaire from only having one dollar in your pocket yeah it's probably actually easier to become a millionaire from being broke than it is to go from being a millionaire to becoming a billionaire there's like mm. that requires massive infrastructure probably multiple companies you know unless you're mark zuckerberg and you just think of this thing that the whole world doesn't know it wants yet yeah <laughs> yeah no that's yeah. interesting you say that i i know one of the challenges for uh many entrepreneurs that are uh, at the six figure mark, right? And they have so much trouble getting to the seven figure mark. And from what I understand, it's um, having difficulties implementing systems uh, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Well, what's your take on that? Well, there's two takes on it. Like in a lot of business, the only difference between six figures and seven figures is systems, which means being able to do more stuff in the same amount of time but the angle that I love the most is increasing your price. So like mm. I show people how to amplify their value. So like a lot of people are selling their thing, whatever it is for, you know, a hundred dollars, $200, $500. And they don't even see the value. They don't even see that they could actually sell that same thing for $25,000. Now it might not be to the same people, mm -hmm. right? Because like not everyone has $25,000 to be able to invest in training or coaching or consulting or whatever thing it is that you happen to sell. But I show people how to see the value that they have, not only within themselves, but also within the product or service that they have, and then be able to convey that value in a way that other people see it, uh, that it solves an even bigger problem. So in other words, if, if you're selling your thing for uh, $25,000, and if it solves a $100,000 problem, 
Mm -hmm. then it's a really easy choice for yeah. someone that has that problem to invest in that solution yeah. because that is an investment. It's going to provide a return. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm selling you something for 25,000, when you implement it, it's going to make you, you know, a hundred thousand, 200,000, a million dollars. That's yeah. an investment with a return. It's not a cost. That's a liability. Mm -hmm. It's selling money at a discount basically. Right. Yeah. And there's no business like the money business. <laughs> I, 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 Man, I wish I could have a bank. That'd be great. <laughs>